Hey, what is up, YouTube? September the 13th, Courtney Truman Steamers. I am up here at Truck Mount Cleaning Solutions, aka TCS for short. Um, I'm up here, guys. Got a little issue with my truck mount and um, <clears throat> wanted to do a video. You know, I called my first job this morning, which was a repeat client. And I told Mr. Robert that I'm running behind, told him what was going on. He totally understood. He said, well, Courtney, call me when you leave there. Um, I thought I was going to be out of here by now, but I'm still here. And I just called him and said, Robert, I'm still here. Um, you know, but what I can do is call you when I'm done here. He said, Courtney, it's fine. Just give me a call if we have to reschedule for tomorrow or another day. I totally understand. Guys, listen to what he said. He totally understands. So with that being said, guys, you have to realize who you work for. The kind of customers and clients that you work for, these are the kind of people that can make your job easier or harder. And when I say that, when I used to work for the kind of customers I don't like working for now, uh, you know, most of the customers, you know, who don't really uh, value your services, value you as a professional, all they do is price shop, look for the cheapest prices. They want miracles. Uh, they want new carpets uh, for cleaning prices. Um, and again, when situations like this happen, they're not, they don't understand. Um, when I used to work for those kind of customers a long time ago, things like this happen. They get upset. Oh, I've been waiting. Uh, I got something to do. Uh, I got all my furniture moved. And what it does, guys, it makes you feel guilty. It makes you feel bad. And my court, my and my thing is, why feel bad? Why feel bad for something that you can't control? You can't control that your machine went down. You can't control that you got a flat tire or something happened to your vehicle. You can't control that maybe you got you 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 woke up sick and you just your body won't let you work. You can't control that maybe you got that call uh, for a family family emergency. Maybe you had to go pick up your child from school and uh, go home and, you know, take care of your, your kid. Um, you can't control that. So why feel guilty about it? So my thing is, guys, uh, just a little message. Always remember, the people that you work for, the kind of people that you work for will determine how you're able to run your business. And when, like I said, when I wasn't making any money, working for the wrong kind of customers guys not only was I, I wasn't making money not only did i not enjoy working for these kind of people these people were stressing me out they were just stressing me out so now that i'm working for a different kind of customer a different kind of client someone who has a different mentality guys they understand they i, I have customers like i might have an appointment let's say between five and six my last appointment and i said hey miss smith this is courtney we're running behind uh we probably won't get this about 6 30 or 7 oh courtney you know what why don't you just go home and enjoy the rest of your day i know you're probably tired and we can just reschedule for another day guys not 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 five and six years ago you call a customer telling you're running behind well am i gonna get a special uh, I should get a discount. These people don't understand. And I know a lot of you guys who are in business can agree with me. You you can understand where I'm coming from. And it's and it's the truth. A lot of people, you know, I was telling my buddy, you see my van back there, guys? See it back there? You see my, my van right there? Oh, you see my van getting worked on? And I told my buddy, I said, it's funny that, you know, a lot of these issues that we talk about, no one wants to talk about them. No one, we all want to keep it private. We all want to, you know, talk about it, you know, behind closed doors. But this is reality. You know, hey, it's, 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 it's part of business. It's part of life. And we're and if you're in business, you're going to go through it. You know, things are going to happen every day. Is not going to be a good day? And not, no, 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 I take that back. Today is a great day. Not only is it a, is, is a, is it a good day, it's a great day. But every day isn't going to go smooth. Issues are going to happen. All right? Issues are going to happen. It's all about how you, you know, again, taking care of my issue, trying to get my machine running the way it should so I can go start my day. And like my customer just told me, if we got to reschedule, guys, that makes me feel a whole lot better. I don't have pressure on me. And also, I don't have pressure that, again, I can't control. So, guys, hey, all I'm saying is who you work for, who you service, the people that hire you can determine how you feel about your business, 
how you even feel about yourself and also how much stress you have on you you know making you feel guilty like i said about things you can't control i can't control that my my pump is acting up you think i want my pump to act up you think i want to be up here for three hours four, three to four hours no i don't you know so but hey it's a part it's a part of the business it's a part of the game part of life all right guys see you in the next one